Hi there, carp fans and carp anglers. My name's Tony Knight, I'm from Wet Lines. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on a really simple and effective rig called the Knotless Hair Rig. Been around for years, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, here's some of the components you're going to need. Got some IQ hook link, 15 pounds. Got wide gate, size 8 hook, got a safe zone lead clip, anti tangle sleeve, and a pair of scissors. So, I need to pull off a nice fair, sh fair length of the IQ. Like that. Yeah. Cut a bit off. So the first thing I do is a make a loop at the at the end of the line. It's just a simple granny granny knot around your finger like that. And you put this bit of hoop through the end. And put a bit of saliva around the knot. And then I normally do is get my scissors. The back the back part of the scissors, mind you. And just pull it tight. And you can cut off the tag end. Like that. So you have a loop and the rest of your hook link. So what I normally do, I normally put a, a, a boilie on next, but I haven't got one to hand, so. And the reason why I put a boilie on next is I'll get a hook. And um, you can get your the exact distance you want your boilie from from your hook. If you understand what I'm saying. So right, what we do now is put the other end of the hook link through the back the back of the eye. Pull it through, and this is what I mean. What I mean is, when I have a boilie on, I can adjust the size, how far I want it away, the boilie away from the hook. If I want it nice and close, then you've got a good, good indicator there. All right. So now what we're going to do is we've got the distance you want. We get the the rest of the line. And we'll wrap around the shank of the hook five times, two, three, four, five. Hold it there, you put the end of the line back through the back of the eye. Always make sure you put it through the back of the eye. Pull it through like that, and there you go. Okay, and then obviously when you drag it across your hand, because you can put the back of the the eye, it will just hook over, and should in theory hook into you, but it doesn't seem to want to be doing it. So just another com component I um that I've got to tell you about: a bit of string tubing. Okay, I totally forgot about it. Unprofessional of me. So we're going to snip off a bit of shrink tubing. That, I think, is a lovely bit of a nice amount. Okay. So we feed that through. 
the other end of the line, pull that down to the eye, the hook, okay, just like that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the kettle, and I'm going to pour the kettle and we're going to steam that shrink tube in nice and tight. So, the kettle's boiled, I'm using a pair of pliers to hold the hook so I don't want to burn my fingers, and I've kicked the line towards the uh, towards me so there we have it the shrink tube shrunk there you go it's all steamed I've got a nice elbow kick to it so when it when it turns over it'll get a good hook hold in the carp's mouth Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to pop on um, an anti tangle sleeve. There we go, we're in, we're in. I do apologise for the camera, um, it just keeps going in and out of focus. There we go. So now what we do is we attach the safe zone leg clip. So what I'll just simply do here is I'll do a five turn blood knot, um, two, three, four, five, right, and you put the tag end back through your first loop there we go um, put a bit of saliva on the knot and what we do is we tease the knot down what I like to do is use my fingernails and um, put on the tag in a bit more. Um, I'm going to use my teeth, so I'll come out of shot for a minute. Like that. And then tease it down and down. And then we cut the tag end off. So just to neaten up, make it a little bit neater. So we've pushed, pushed the antler tangle sleeve, the knot, and um, once it once you cast out and it hits the water, it's just push everything away and lay your hook link and your bait nice presented very well. So then all you've got to do at this end is attach your main line to your safe zone lead clip, um, so you feed your line through this bit first, then you tie it on, I'll do another five turn blood knot, and you pop it on. Put a bit of saliva on here, push this over, just a couple of notches, that's all you need. And that's it, you're ready to go. There it is, that is the, um, the um, knotless knot hair rig. Um, I hope this is enough information for you. Um, that's me done. So I would um, if you push a like and subscribe to our channel, that'd be great. And um, well, that's it. I'm done for now. My name is Tony Knight, and remember, keep those lines wet.